Hello everybody and welcome to this video on lucid dreaming. Now I've been practicing this um, art for, for many years. Maybe I shouldn't call it lucid dreaming, maybe just being more conscious in the dream state. How to get there can take many, many years of, I don't know, what, what what's the word? Dedication, yeah, it is dedication, of routinic sort of implementation of setting goals, for example, getting into a routine. Now, everything that we do in the physical world is reflected in the dream state. So if you can become more aware in the physical world, the conscious breathing, what you're in now, in your physical body, more aware of everything around you all the time, you will become more aware in the, in the dream state. It's training your mind to be more aware of things. So how are you seeing the world around you? How are you, are you blinkered? Are you only seeing things in front of you here? Are you always in your phone, forgetting things around you? Or are you more open and observe, observing and interacting and noticing things, changes? Perhaps, I don't know, your, your mum or your partner has changed the clock or moved a painting or done something. Just these little changes or someone's cut their hair. Just be aware of how things are different, but not just take note, but also question, oh, am I dreaming or am I awake right now? I was like, did you have your hair cut the other day? Question them about it. Oh, your hair looks nice. Or have you moved the painting? And they might think you're crazy and go, no, no it's always been there. <laughs> Don't question everything, but if something looks different than usual, question it, because you might find that you're not, you're not awake, you are actually dreaming. But anyway, so you everything you do here in the physical state is reflected in the dream world. And the more practice you do with that, the more you become aware in the dream state too. And the more you heighten your vibration, your frequency, eat by eating high vibrational foods, being a better person in, better, in every way, like not creating more karma. When I say karma, it depends if you believe in karma or not. You should understand what karma means. Not creating conflicts and dramas and situations that put you in bad places to um, have, I don't know, bad conflict and bad energy around you. Just trying to be a better person all the time, you know. I'm not even trying, just just doing, you know. And, but just leaving a good footprint and all these good things just have you a better better night's sleep, but just create more beautiful energy around you by helping people. And you're not doing this just so you have <laughs> other worldly experiences. It's, just, it's about being a good person. It's about going to, uh, doing a good thing when you can, but it's having a balance. You've got to be looking after you too. Anyway, I'm diverting, but it's all part of it. So um, how to be more conscious in the dream state um, takes a long time takes dedication. Now some people can become very lucky, they can practice and they can start having results very fast, but I tell you it depends on different situations. Maybe a person is meant to have an experience to put them more, more on a spiritual path to understand and be aware. If you're already an aware, awake person, you might not have major trans life transforming experiences like me, I don't really get those anymore because things are always happening around me all the time. Like a lot of synchronicity, I'm having dream communication. It's the mundane for me now. If what I experienced the last few days happened 20 years ago, it probably been like, whoa, okay, I've had a spiritual <laughs> awakening. Anyway, moving on about lucid dreaming. Um, how to achieve those states is just literally trying to be more conscious. Now, breaking the cycle of sleep is uh, a major, huge tool that you can do. Now, I hold retreats and gatherings where we do practice um, lucid dreaming together. And, but the thing is, is having your own routinic experience. So, going into a dream state isn't difficult. You just need to make sure, need to make sure you're having the proper correct rest and how to do that is very simple just you get good sleep so um, when I take note of dreams is make sure I have good rest 
After your replenished sleep, you start going into REM, rapid eye movement. And that is a brainwave state that you have after your replenished sleep where you still replenish and need sleep for rest, but you're, then your brain is more awake and aware. So if you get up after four or five hours, five and a half, something like that, go to the toilet, have a sip of water. I don't know, I'm, I'm learning Spanish still for, for the last four or five years. Do a lesson on a language or read a page or two in a book. It doesn't have to be on the subject of lucid dreaming or, ast or astral projection. It could be on anything crazy. Just don't be locked into your phone and scrolling through Facebook for, for the next few hours. Otherwise, you, you will be tired. But just just do something for about 10 minutes just to keep you a little bit awake. Not, not for long. And then go back to sleep. You can have the intention to be more awake in your dream. But the most important thing is to sleep. Um, because after that you will dream most likely so if you are a person that thinks well I do that I get up get up in the morning and go to the toilet and then go back to bed okay yeah but you're you're still in a bit of a you know you're still your, your brain waves are still in deep delta you know you need to wake them up a little bit and then go back to sleep and you will fall asleep the more important thing to do is once you're in bed do not move find a position where you're just gonna stay and just be and then just allow your body to sleep and with that you can have out of body experiences, phenomena, but it's one step at a time. The lucid dreaming, being aware of dreams is the first step to all the other things out there. So if you're aiming for the out of body state straight away, it can take time, but not immediately. You need to, it's it's a work up it's a work up, it's a process. You have to be more awake in the in the lucid dream state. And once you've mastered that area, then you will have some experiences. Um, but it's been in full control of those experiences. So, yeah, how to have a lucid dream. We're getting there, slowly. <laughs> it's making sure you get in at least five hours of sleep, then wake up, do something for about ten minutes, go back to bed. It's called the, the wake back to bed uh, technique, I think it's called. Um, WBWB, I think. Um, W B T B, I think. Anyway, so yeah, do that. Um, perhaps do some breathing exercises for just a few minutes and then just let your body fall asleep. Don't move it. Just relax the breathing. Don't move the head. Don't move the legs. Just find a position and just rest and just have the intention that, okay, I will remember my dreams. Not like you're not laying there going, I'm going to remember my dreams. I'm going to remember my dreams. Okay, what is it? Am I, am I dreaming yet? <laughs> just have an intention in your mind of I will remember my dreams quickly that's it because you know your internal body clock that you have before you go to sleep and you have to be up at seven o'clock in the morning for example and you find out you wake up one minute before your alarm how often does that happen because you are communicating with your internal body clock your circadian rhythm probably doesn't happen so much if you're traveling a lot and have jet lag but in your normal routinic sort of working day lives that usually if you find out oh, okay on a weekday for example i need to get up at seven o'clock or six o'clock whatever time it is you set the alarm and sometimes you find out you just literally wake up and then your alarm goes off or yeah your body clock is so in tune that you've communicated with it when to wake up so if you can do that with the intention of remembering your dreams which you can then you will you will remember your dreams the thing is no distractions the peak thing really is if you have nothing to do the next day no major tasks a lot of experiences I have is when usually I don't have to be anywhere the next day um, I have a day off or I've got the morning free and I have a lot of dreams that I remember um, so I thought I'd share with that it's it's a slow process there's many techniques out out there you can do but the thing is the important thing is just Relax, relax the body, the mind will follow. You will fall asleep and you will dream. Everybody dreams, but it's just a, men it's just a process if you remember it or not. Um, and to remember your dreams is no different than being walking around in, in your physical waking life and just taking note of different things or just looking around all the time, being open. Are you on the phone constantly looking through TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is? Maybe you found this already by scrolling. Thank you. But um, if you're watching my video because you want to get, you know, better dream recall, 
then it's having less distractions and you're you know you're conditioning your mind if you're always on the phone or doing something else have a break from that go for a walk in nature just be aware look at the trees what they smell look like what they smell like look at the birds look at the animals if they're out um, changes in the seasons which is beautiful the buds um, growing from the trees just take note oh what is it going up close to things and oh this looks really nice take a note and that will follow in the dream state I guarantee it but it takes the years of dedication I've not mastered this ability yet um, I may never master it but I'm getting better all the time and more clarity and experiences and thing is if you don't practice if you don't write your dreams down which is a very big important thing too which I'll get on to in a minute then you lose out of practice basically um, but you can easily get back into it so what I have next to me by my bed which I don't have today is a, is a notebook an A5 notebook not massive you can just get a bit of paper but I write in the dark I've learned to just jot down in the dark you know I haven't practiced my eyes closed I've just written different places just buzzwords so when I wake up in the morning I can look at it and think okay donkey um, coffee shopping mall um, dirt track chased just those buzzwords then it will pink you know being put together so yeah recording your dreams is is something and now I went really crazy many years ago and I was recording about 35 36 dreams every morning and I was spending hours in the morning writing it all down now you don't have to do that you can just bullet point things just so you're aware and then literally before you go to sleep is look back on it's a bit of homework it doesn't take long it takes about 10 seconds just to have a bit of a read what you've what's happened the day before and it gets your mind put back into the dream state so then when you enter into bed or you wake up back to bed type technique you wake up after five six hours of rest of sleep have a walk around have a bit of a read or even read in your dream journal if you like um, and uh, just have a quick you know read and just reflect and then go back into bed with just the quick intention okay I'm gonna remember my dreams and then just relax sleep and then whatever happens happens it's like the weather like meditation you know we always want it to be good weather outside it's not always great weather it's great weather, weather for the plants or it's great weather for us we live in this cohabited world with plants that need water and we need sunshine you know we need water too uh, for the plants it, it's, a, it's a symbiotic process you know together but a good idea to get is a, a short dream journal um, a diary with with dates and stuff with a small box where you can just write some bullet points in there you don't have to write loads and that's that's what r works really well for me I get like five or six days on one page and I just bullet point stuff and when I wake up if I remember and I just keep a track throughout the year and you might find that you know psychically there might be things that link in a few days time or you dreamt of it last week you can look back and remember the experience so it's looking back at your dream state and seeing how far it can take you basically anyway I, I hope that's helped in some way there's lots of different methods and techniques out there but this is what works for me having a notepad by, by my bed having good sleep watch my previous video on how to get better sleep um, that's what works for me it might be different for you but having the right sleep environment is very optimal for having good dreams because if you're having distractions around you if the dog's coming in or the cat or I don't know there's a part, a part next to you who is rolling around or snoring or I don't know moving or getting up in the middle of the night all the time then if you want this practice and even better if you if you and your partner can practice together and go to sleep for six hours you know together fine but then both, both you separate and you sleep again and you go into a dream state and then have the intention to have shared dreams together that is totally possible so I mean there is no limit to to the spirit world to the you know the non-physical side there's a whole bunch of different opportunities we're quite limited here but that limitation is not limitation really we 
we just need to anchor in our physical body to sleep and rest for our spirit to come out and to experience non-physical states beyond the physical body anyway i hope i can't even speak i hope i have helped you in some way inspire you get a bit of inspiration perhaps thanks for watching this video if you have got this far and um, i'll catch you in catch you in the next video bye for now